you're going to read a magazine article and answer the questions. Also, there is a final question. By seeing this picture, we hope you will have a good imagination of Silk Road. This is the magazine article and what it looks like. When you read the article while listening, please look at the new words under the paragraphs. Now, let's get started. Silk Road is one of the greatest trading routes in human history, and showcased the goods, cultures, and technologies from the far reaches of China through the cities and empires of Central and West Asia. Historically, the Silk Road was not one but many routes that connected East and South Asia to Europe, so named because the largest commodity traded down the route was Chinese silk. So. How did it all start? Zhang Ken was the pioneer of the Silk Road who opened up this ancient trade road during the Han Dynasty. From 139 BC to 119 BC, he went to the western regions twice and brought back an immense amount of information about the Central Asia and West Asia. The Silk Road marked the beginning of a new era with an extensive exchange of culture economy and religion between China and the West. The main travelers of the Silk Road were merchants who organized various caravans to cross the Gobi Desert. Overcoming all kinds of hardships, they transported goods for sale between China and the West to gain great profit. From nobles to beggars and prisoners, all kinds of people once had gone to their destinations by this world-famous Silk Road. When it comes to Silk Road, without any doubt, we must mention one of the most famous travelers, Marco Polo. He was born in Venice, Italy in 1254, and he traveled on Silk Road with his merchant father and uncle when he was 17. Along the way, he visited many great cities and saw many sites including the holy city of Jerusalem, Persia and the Gobi Desert. He later wrote, I met a lot of different types of people and had many adventures. According to his account, he spent over a decade by Kubilay Khan. He told many fascinating stories about far-off places to Kubilay Khan. During the time when the Mongols ruled, merchants had higher social status. During other dynasties merchants were considered lowly and looked down on as parasites on the economy. He also traveled throughout China as a messenger for Kubilay Khan. Different cultures, foods, cities, and peoples had been introduced to him before he returned home. After he returned home, he wrote his famous book The Travels of Marco Polo. In his book, he wrote, I have seen many places and things that no one from Europe had ever seen before. He also said, I was fascinated by the wealth and luxury of the Chinese cities and of Kubilay Khan's court. It was nothing like I have experienced in Europe. It had been translated into multiple languages and read throughout Europe within a few years. The influence of Marco Polo on European knowledge of the East was immense. Even Christopher Columbus was only one of those inspired by his account and began his own great expeditions.
The final question is this. Why is the road named Silk Road? So, please write the answers of this open-ended question and also the multiple choice question answers in the comments below. Thank you.